Hyphen Boulevard here in Elizabeth City. It's Center Stage. And here's your host, Andrew Russo. Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Center Stage. I'm your host, Andrew Russo. Thanks for joining us once again at the Shedley Theatre in the heart of Elizabeth, South Australia. We would love to hear your feedback. You can do so via our website, theshedley.com.au, or visit us on the Facebook or Instagram. Another huge show lined up for you all, so let's give it up for the Shedley Band. Since 2018, St Columba College has been coming to the Shedley Theatre and putting on musicals. The year 6 to 12 drama students perform in such shows as Shrek the Musical, Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, and this year they're still hopeful to put on Oliver. Please welcome Corinne and Eugenie. Hi ladies, welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for coming on in. How's things? Yeah, it's good, thank you. Doing all right, doing well. Busy at school, busy yeah. time of the year. Thanks for joining us on Centre Stage. I want to start with uh, if you can introduce yourselves and your roles at the school. So I'm Corinne Harris um, and I am Director of School Musical uh, for the past three years. And Eugenie? I, I'm the Director of Spirituality at the school and I volunteered to help Corinne with the production, so, uh, which I'm very happy to do. I love what she does and how she's got all our students involved in the musical, so it's fantastic. Well, let's start with, tell us about St Columba College and the musical background. Um, so we're a out of 12 college uh, in Andrews Farm. So three years ago, we kind of discussed starting a musical again mm -hmm. and doing a full school musical. So we've got year six to year 12 um, students can be involved. Mm -hmm. um, so we have taken the approach of students um, want to be a part of it so they apply um, and they rehearse Thursday nights full cast after school and um, Friday night leads rehearse after school so they really have to commit to the production and want to be part of it. Um, so on average each year we have about 80 actors yep. um, who want to take part in the production which is fantastic so they do acting singing and dancing mm -hmm. um, on the stage but then Eugenia kindly takes all the students off stage for me that's right so we have a production team backstage as well okay. so they're our props people yep. microphones uh, they do the spotlight they do the music they do the um, makeup makeup all sorts of things so Flat I have power. a whole team of, <laughs> yeah. of people uh, running around trying to fix things we, we're very handy with duct tape <laughs> really good with duct tape it's um, amazing to see a school come in and put on such a large production I've been obviously part of seeing you guys since 2018 uh, and I remember having the conversations with you around Chitty Chitty and, and Trek the Musical and I, I, I remember thinking oh it's going to be very, very straightforward and I walked to the back of the loading dock and there was just props and sets everywhere and Tell me about it. hundreds of kids. Um, you don't do it half-hearted. No, no, not at all. I was expecting to see, you know, 10, 10 students arrive and yeah. you know, maybe a couple of, couple of, couple of teachers, but uh, it was an amazing production yeah, it's for It's a full-scale musical and um, I remember after our first production in 2018 when we did Shrek, uh, Principal Leanne Carr um, came backstage to the students and she said, I didn't expect to see Broadway. <laughs> so that was great. And that's what Corinne does. She is amazing with the way that she works with the students. Most of our students have something, anything up to four or five costume changes wow. during the production because they don't just have one part. So suddenly they're a crowd scene or suddenly they're a dancer or suddenly they're a singer in this or they've got a main part. And that takes organisation mm. and it's incredible. I'm sort of thinking year six, yeah, I can hardly get them to write things on a page, let alone yep. having to change costumes without being told, <laughs> being on stage, being ready. And they are, and you know, it's all thanks to Corinne in the way that she trains these students. It's fantastic. What they learn by being in this production is mind blowing. I mean, oh, I, this is something they're gonna remember for the rest of their lives. Yeah. It's not just a one-off. It's a one-off thing on the night. Well, we do it for more than one night. We do it for four <laughs> nights, but it's something that's gonna live in their memories forever. Yeah. They're not going to forget what they've been involved in. Oh, that's great. I think if you raise the bar high and I have high expectations, um, all the students, lift to it and everybody they do. succeeds yeah. and, and joins the group and, and that's probably then the most rewarding thing at the end is the students understand what they've worked towards yeah. and that level of commitment and community. Um, they really get a sense of you know, community uh, within the production and that's achievement great. at the end. Uh, well, you are at the moment doing Oliver yes. and you started Oliver back in January prior to COVID-19. Um, 
tell us a little bit about that, what you're up to. I mean, you know, what are, how's the school, how's the drama students during this period? Yeah, so the whole school got affected, obviously. Mm. Um, we shut down earlier than many schools. So we ended up about having seven weeks, the cast did, uh, we couldn't rehearse. Okay. Uh, we then went into holidays and then the students slowly came back, but we didn't start rehearsals, obviously for obvious reasons, getting all the kids to, 80 kids together. Yeah. Um, so we did online rehearsals um, and the students would log on <laughs> and uh, 80 of them, um, but talk, it worked. Talk us through that. How, how did you manage that? Yeah, so um, we used Microsoft Teams, which is what the school was using. Mm -hmm. um, and the students would log on at four o'clock mm -hmm. and um, it, by having the video, that's what really helped us. So we just didn't want to go backwards. Sure. So the students, we would read, say, Act 1, and the students had to be muted because 80 students talking at once doesn't work. <laughs> so they were, and they were great. They'd all log on and they'd all be muted. And if they were re had lines in the particular scene, they would unmute themselves and they would read their lines. Yep. Um, and I obviously could talk over them and keep instructing them and, and trying to make the show move forward. Wow. So then when we came back about seven weeks later, uh, we had half a cast, we could only rehearse with a smaller sure. number of students. Mm. Uh, but I mean, that's where we're still at now, we still haven't got a full cast back yet. But we've managed to almost get through Act 2 with the students, that, the, the lead roles sure. and key sort of senior ensemble students yep. uh, working through Act 2. So we're hoping with the next restriction lift we will be able to have the full cast come back after school yeah. <laughs> and try and quickly pull the show together in well, hope for September. What an amazing effort to do that on Microsoft Teams. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what, what does the Shedley mean to you guys? Like, what, what is it that you love about coming to the Shedley? This is an amazing place, mm -hmm. absolutely amazing place. And for us coming here, the students get a sense of what it means to be part of a production and not just a school production that's done in a school hall. Mm -hmm. You know, they've got dressing rooms, they've got backstage areas, they've got flies that they have to do. There's lots and lots of skills that they learn. And if we didn't have this opportunity, you know, I don't think they would have got the full sense of what it means to put on a musical. Mm. Yeah. And as I said, duct tape, <laughs> they've got that skill for life now. <laughs> and it is, it's a magical place. It really does bring the show to the next level. Um, and for us, because it's a working theatre, um, as you said, they, yes. just, they just get a sense of every element of, and a lot of students as well approach me, oh, I want to do film when I get older, you know, I want to go into that kind of industry. And I just encourage them, come and help backstage mm. because it is so similar. It is, you need to understand how something is put together. Um, and it, it doesn't matter if there's a camera or not. Um, so it really allows a lot of students to be involved. And we're just so lucky that this lovely venue is so close to our college. Mm. Ladies, that was really some lovely words there. I, I do appreciate it. Uh, we love having uh, not only your school, but all schools in the area that yeah. can come here. So we wish you all the best with this year. Oh, hopefully, uh, as we said earlier, Oliver <laughs> does come to the Shelley yeah. Theatre in September. <laughs> um, I sincerely thank you for your time and really appreciate you coming tonight. Thanks for having thank us. Thank you very much. Thank Thanks. you for having us. We hope you've enjoyed another episode of Centre Stage. Thank you for joining us at the Shedley Theatre. Tonight, I want to leave you with Miley Vincent and Finbar Warrior from St Columba, who will be performing a song from Oliver the Musical. Good night.
have you run away from then? You're an old man. No, I'm an orphan. I've come to London to make my fortune. So you have, have you? Yes. Got any lodgings? No. Then accommodated you shall be, me old mate. I happen to be a particular favourite of Mr Fagin. Are you sure Mr Fagin won't mind? Mind? Consider yourself at home. Consider yourself one of the family. We've taken to you so strong. It's clear we're going to get along. Consider yourself well in. Consider yourself part of the furniture. There isn't a lot to spare. Who cares what? Ever we got we share If it's a chance to be We should see some harder days Empty lot of days Why grouse? Always a chance we'll meet somebody to foot the bill Then the drinks are on the house Consider yourself our mate We don't want to have no fuss For after some consideration we can state Consider yourself one of us Consider yourself At home Consider yourself One of the family We've taken to you So strong It's, it's clear, clear we're going, going to get, get along. along Consider yourself well in Consider yourself part of the furniture There isn't a lot to spare Who cares what Whatever we got, we share. Yeah. Nobody tries to be la di da or a petty. There's a cup of tea for all. Only it's wise to be handy with a rolling pin when the landlord comes to call. Consider yourself our mate. We don't want to have no fuss. For after some consideration, we can say, Consider yourself one of us. Thank you.